some YouTubers and make those are welcome. Do do not believe this leak on reaction video. It's from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here, bringing you another Super Smash Brothers really? Ultimate Leak discussion Versus video Link. because today I have got two separate leaks that I want to discuss. One of which I think may fool some people if they see it going around, and I want to kind of make yes. this first part of this video more of a PSA to not believe this specific leak. So let's just get straight into it. On the Isaac Smashboards forum thread on Smashboards, as I said, there was a picture that went up and it displayed this. It is a Japanese video and it apparently details Akuma from the Street Fighter series joining the roster as number 70, skipping number 69, which is shocking everyone, obviously, because most people are expecting Ryu as an Echo Fighter and nothing more from the series. And this was apparently uploaded on September 30th, 2018, etc., etc. Now, there are a few things that I've noticed that are interesting about this. Firstly, there is a lack of a monetization tab right between translations and advanced settings. I imagine that Nintendo's uh, YouTube channel would have monetization on they would want to earn money from the views that their game receives so this doesn't make too much sense with that tab being gone it implies that the channel doesn't have access to monetization yet so it might not be nintendo's channel the other thing is that this is fake because the leaker made a very sh stupid mistake regarding the kanji for akuma's name as this post on the Isaac forum thread says, Isaac for Smash Please says, Yeah, recopying from the above for visibility. Uh, the leak says uh, Akuma, as in the kanji for Akuma, which tells me right off the bat it's fake as heck. They tried going for credibility by bamboozling Western fans with Japanese characters, but didn't do enough research to know that Akuma's name in Japanese is actually Goki, which is a completely different set of 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 symbols of Japanese okay mm. Akuma's Japanese name is Goki if you guys didn't know that so make sure you know that that his Japanese name is Goki his American name is Akuma characters and that is enough to prove that this screenshot is fake if it goes around if anybody tries to convince you that this is true, it is not. It is not the right kanji. This is a fake leak, and I wanted to make this a PSA to make sure that people were aware that this is not real and that you guys don't have to worry about Akuma suddenly showing up. It's not real. But moving on to the second leak of this video, this one's going to be a, a classic 4chan leak because we haven't covered one of those in a long time. This was sent to me uh, by at Excalibur0123 on Twitter, and they said, found this while lurking on 4chan, not sure how I feel about it. So naturally, they probably want me to analyze it. They sent it about a few hours ago, and I figured I'd take a look at it for them and just come to a consensus if it's true or not. Yeah, there is so some cool let's just get straight into this leak. Here it is on screen. I'm not going to monologue here, and I'm just going to get straight to the point. Here are the rest of the characters and stages for Smash Ultimate. Newcomers, Isaac from Golden Sun, Incineroar from Pokemon Sun and Moon, Mike Jones from Star Tropics, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, and Gino from Super Mario RPG. So, very safe picks right now. Everyone's been speculating Incineroar. A lot of people have been speculating another Square Enix rep. Some even speculating two Square Enix reps. So, Sora, Gino, Incineroar makes sense. Isaac, nice to see him there. Mike Jones is a very interesting character. And I don't know whether Mike Jones would actually get picked for Ultimate, because I doubt he had any ballot presence. He would certainly have to be this random retro pick that Sakurai tends to do each game. But even then, that's just a fan pattern, and we don't know if that's actually the case. At most, we usually have a surprise character, and that could really be attributed to Ridley or King K. Rule, to be quite frank. And then we have Echo Fighters. Ken from Street Fighter as a Ryu Echo. Black Shadow from F-Zero as a Captain Falcon Echo. Shadow from Sonic the Hedgehog as a Sonic Echo. 
Verini from Kid Icarus as a Palutena Echo, and Hector from Fire Emblem as an Ike Echo. Now, here is where I already have a problem with this leak. If you guys recall, Isabel was not an Echo of the Villager because she had different proportions. Life is full of memorable moments. Hundreds of them. Each one worthy of celebration. Proportions to the Villager. Her body type was different. It didn't match the villager's body, so they couldn't echo that character. Viridi is really small. She is not as tall as Palutena, and that kind of already puts a nail in the coffin for this leak. Viridi is not going to be a Palutena echo because they are not the same size, and thus not the same proportions, and thus they couldn't have the same moveset. We are more likely to get Medusa as a Kid Icarus echo if we're getting one for Palutena, and even then, that's not 100% confirmed. Viridi also still appears in the Reset Bomb Forest stage, so that puts a lot of shade onto this leak. But, looking through the rest of this... That's not the only problem, even though I do love the idea of Hector from Fire Emblem as an Ike Echo. I have been dying for either Hector or Lin to be a playable Fire Emblem rep, and Hector would be fun. He's not gonna happen, but he would be fun. So, fun facts about characters. During the process of choosing a surprise rep for Ultimate, okay, bonus points for using surprise rep. He didn't use retro, he used surprise, which is the definition Sakurai gave in the Smash 4 project plan. Good on you, Lika. Sakurai had a hard time choosing between the following characters. Mark Ryder from Mark Ryder, Saki from Sin and Punishment, Mike Jones from Star Tropics, and believe it or not, Stanley the Bugman from Donkey Kong 3. Ultimately, he went with Mike Jones. I won't lie, Saki would be an interesting character, but I feel like Saki is getting kind of shafted here. I mean, let's look at it from this point of view. Mark Ryder, uh, Mike Jones, Stanley the Bugman, they've not really been in Smash before, whereas Saki has been an assist trophy for two games now. And then Sakurai has to pick between a surprise rep, and then he skips Saki, despite the fact he's been an assist trophy two times, and probably out of those four characters has the most likely chance of becoming playable. It's interesting to think about. I can't say I know too much about Mike Jones or Star Tropics, but I do know that there are people who enjoy the character and who would like to see the character. And you know what? As a retro rep, it's not that far-fetched. But I like that this leak does use the term surprise rep, which is the correct definition for this sort of character. When planning out the Echo Fighters, Ken was one of the high-priority picks for Sakurai due to Ken being the origin of clone-like characters. Yeah. I mean, technically, didn't Luigi come before Ken in Super Mario Bros? I'm not sure. Ken being a clone-fighting-like character, I get that, and I- Hmm, I, I think on Street Fighter it came out in 1987. I think. I'll just go check. I was right. I was right, so, so Street Fighter was released in August 1987. We're gonna go check when Mario, when Mario Bros. went, let's check out. 1983. So... So I guess uh, Street Fighter was before. Oh, I don't know. So I guess Street Fighter was after, or then Mario Bros. It was like a little old, and also Street Fighter. So back to the video. I think that's the reason why everyone's jumping off the Ken bandwagon. But at the same time, this kind of feels like a statement that wasn't made by Sakurai, but was made popular by the Smash community this year, after Echo Fighters were revealed, and it feels like this leak just cherry-picked it, and decided to say, Hey, Sakurai picked this guy for this reason, even though no leaker would know exactly what Sakurai was thinking regarding this. Like, no, that, that's not realistic. You don't actually, like, talk to Sakurai and be like, Oh, hey, Sakurai, what did you think of Ken? And he's like, oh, I picked him because he's the origin of clone characters. No, you don't get that. So, when Sakurai originally approached Square Enix about obtaining the rights to use Cloud, he went with the intention of bringing up Geno as well. Long story short, Square granted them the rights to use Geno. Sakurai put Geno's Mii costume in Smash 4 as a small tease of things to come. Okay, that makes somewhat sense. Of course, he obviously had to bring up Geno at some point because... 
he got him as a costume, and I do agree that that's the likely scenario that happened, but at the same time, I feel like only Sakurai and the people that worked on Smash 4 and the people at Square Enix, who are notoriously well-known for keeping everything under wraps uh, for fear of losing people's jobs, uh, I feel like only they're the ones that actually know this for real. I feel like this is more like a fan fiction of how it happened. It's a guess. It's a good guess because it's realistic, but it's still a guess, I feel. Uh, despite popular belief, Disney was not hard to work with in the process of getting Sora for Smash. Sakurai assured them that he would handle the character with the same care and respect that series director Tetsuya Nomura handles the franchise. And actually, contrary to popular belief, Disney isn't hard to work with is actually an unpopular opinion. Most people who are informed on Disney, on Sora, on Kingdom Hearts, on just Sora in Smash would know that Disney are actually okay with the idea. They are not at all opposed to it. It's a research that her, I, I have had to do for Rate Their Chances episodes, and I think that sort of opinion that, oh, Disney is really, really tight-gripped around Sora, we'll never let him be in Smash, and grr, we're gonna have to negotiate, and it's really difficult. It is something that I think people need to dispel. It is not true. Disney are not tight-gripped. Another act. Definitely. Gripped over Sora, given, you know, Kingdom Hearts is a franchise and, and Sora is a game character to begin with, you know. Uh, but anyway, moving on from that, we finally have a list of stages and this, this just confirms it's fake. I mean, I've been looking at this leak and checking its validity and this proves it's fake because... Let's read the stages, shall we? Forest Maze from Super Mario RPG, Aid the Paradise from Pokemon Sun and Moon, Venus Lighthouse from Golden Sun, Sea Island from Star Tropics, Dive to the Heart from Kingdom Hearts, Radical Highway from Sonic Adventure 2, and Battle Harbor from Street Fighter. Okay. So remember Gorokoro said that there will be 108 stages, and we have 103 stages so far revealed. So why is this leak trying to tell us that we're going to get 110 stages? Personally, that's unrealistic unless two of these stages were either cut in development or two of these stages are DLC or it's just fake. And I feel like if they had left out Radical Highway and Battle Harbor because those are obviously dedicated to the Echo Fighters of Shadow and Ken, it might have been more realistic. But no, no, that's killed your leak. Leakers, I am going to give you guys some advice. Stick to the 108 stages rule. Make sure to just do your research. Make sure to do your body proportions with your echo. I want to help you leakers out because I want to have some interesting leaks that cause us to think, that cause us to really figure out if this is true or not. Uh, and lastly, he says, fun fact about stages, Sakurai specifically wanted Radical Highway as a stage, not only for his own idea he had on making the stage, but as a cute little nod to the intro of Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, okay, that's not really that interesting or unique or whatever. That, that's just fan fiction. That's just fan fiction right there. Uh, but yeah, I feel like uh, a lot of leakers, they may, they fall into the same pitfalls that, uh, that many leakers seem to be falling into. And this one tried to be kind of interesting and line up with Vergaben's predictions while adding some interesting ideas. But Veridi as a Palutena Echo, Hector as an Ike Echo is also kind of weird given they use different weapons. Like one of them uses an axe, one of them uses a sword, so you know it's a little... A little iffy there, uh, but I do like some of the research that went into this because clearly they researched that Disney was, uh, would let Sora in Smash. They knew that going into that. I like how they kind of thought out some of these ideas, but obviously if I had to rate this leak, it's only like a 5 out of 10 because sadly it just does too much wrong. Uh, and given Koro Koro is far more uh, trustworthy than a random 4chan leak, I'm, I'm going to believe that there are not 7 new stages coming to Smash. There are 5. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed me taking a look at this classic leak and just kind of taking a little look at it. There was also that Zorora leak that went out a while back uh, that was uh, that had the Wii Fit Trainer uh, blog post predicted, and Papa Gino's made a video on that, so go check that one out. But my opinion on that leak is it is fake because the Wii Fit Trainer blog was really easy to guess because of Health and Sports Day in Japan, and Zorora as an echo of Lucario, I believe, was the thing. No! No, that doesn't work. Zorora, firstly, is a completely different typing to Lucario, and secondly, Zorora doesn't have any sort of aura capabilities like Lucario. You can't translate that. It makes no sense. I would understand if maybe they used Lucario's framework as a base for Zorora, but... 
No, not an echo. Not an echo. Not at all. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, check out my Discord down below. We have a Smash Leaks channel there where we discuss leaks, as well as a Smash Brothers channel, and it, it's a really nice little community there. We're going for 600 members now, we're over 550, halfway there, and it's pretty fun. You can check that out in the description. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye. Six million to elect Jackie Rosen. So Rosen votes with Pelosi. Maybe the kids could write campaign checks. Rosen would vote. Alright guys, I think that's enough. See you guys next time. Bye.